questions whenever you're ready. Can you confirm what he just said about the uh, offense? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, are you talking about the offense? Yeah, uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's definitely a different energy around the group ever since the summer. Um, just doing things like skills and drills and things, the rock concepts they got going on. So it definitely can spread your defense open. So it's definitely going to be fun to watch this year. David, Christina Long from the Greenville News. You tweeted that you got down to, I think, like 10% body fat, and that was your goal. Just what did it take to do that? Why did you set that goal, and, and what was the hardest part of getting there? Um, definitely, I would say it's 90% diet from my experience. Um, was working out probably the easiest part, but just changing your eating habits and things like that, which I had done last year. But um, just didn't do it to the extent that I was able to do it this year because recovering from the injury, I just had a lot of time to actually um, work on that. Um, and I wanted to do that just because that's where I feel my best at in regards to um, the way I move and things like that. Hey, uh, obviously, you know, besides staying healthy this season, uh, it was a tough season in the beginning in the August for you last year, but um, what were some of your personal goals this, uh, in your decision to return this season? <laughs> personal goals in regards to this year? Um, I have a few um, personal goals, but the ultimate goal is definitely to win a national championship. Um, that's just the ultimate goal in regards to the team, and that's what I'm mainly focusing on. Hey, Christina Long from the Greenville News. Um, you, you came in with some special defensive linemen, but this freshman class, Peter and PJ and all them, where do you see that? How do they kind of rank with some of the other classes you guys have here? Really good. Um, I see a lot of similarities to that 2018 line that we have. They, there's some really good, young, talented guys, and not even just talented. They um, they have a real, really good work that um, coming in this summer. Well, they came in in the spring, just seeing how they work, and then coming in the summer, um, all the extra workouts that was done. Um, they were here um, doing all the extra work. So just um, to see a g group of young guys who has that work ethic is great to see. So it's definitely sky's the limit for that young group. John Blyle with the Post career. Um, um, it definitely was um, frustrating, but like you said, that 2020 year, um, when I went through the COVID depression stuff, so I really, it was frustrating, but I had already been like down before. So it really wasn't nothing too much that got me down in regards to, I knew I could come back from it. And um, talking to Winnie, obviously I had a decision to make the word to, whether to leave or to come back and um, decided to come back. So it was it was definitely frustrating um, just because of the fact that it re -braked. But <clears throat> like I said, I had already been down before in regards to the depression and things like that. So it really nothing that could like take me back down to that level. So I knew I could get past it. What happened in practice? I mean, we knew obviously the camp, how it happened. What was mm -hmm. the well, I had, it was just a, a normal play. I mean, I had jumped up and then got back up. And then when I got back up, I was jogging and then it like, I just felt the crack. So it was the the bone that had, that was healing had, it was never fully healed. So it just, I felt it re-crack. And then, and then we went to got the x-ray and then that's what it said. So I had to get a surgery again. Right, we're going to see you back to um, How difficult will it be for, um, for offense and defense to double team you um, just given the, the talent that you have around you on the defensive line. Yeah, so um, they're going to have the decision to make because there's a lot of um, talented guys that we have. Um, we have a lot of depth in regards to the defensive line group. Like I said, there's a lot of similarities to that 2018 group. And guys um, who came back, like me, Masco, and Rook and TD, those guys are very, very talented. So like I said, they have a decision to make. And even behind us with Peter, TJ, and all those young guys, um, they can come in and get the job done just as well as we can. So they're going to have the decision to make. Yeah, I'll, I'll stay between the range of 245 between 250. Just staying between there. That's what. I was actually higher than that. I was like 295. I was pretty big. Yeah, back in 2020, that's how, how I got. It was 295. And the process of getting back down this. This is actually the lowest I ever been. When I came in the freshman year, it was, I was 255, but this is like where I, I feel my best at um, in regards to what I've experienced. The, the weight change is it harder to get past 
pass offensive line, or is it just strictly speed, but you still have the power you need? Yeah, I'm the strongest I've ever been. My strength hasn't gone away. It's um, it definitely feel faster in regards to my weight. That was the main thing with weight was um, so I can fulfill my speed, things like that. But my power hasn't gone anywhere. To that point, how do you feel like that's going to translate on game days? We've seen you at your best wreaking havoc. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like it's going to allow you to do it more consistently? Of course. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Definitely will. Here Woods, how impressive have you been with him just his maturity level, uh, both physically and mentally for a freshman? I'm definitely impressed. Um, like I said, those guys have a great head on their shoulders in regards to their work ethic. They're not just talented. They come in and they work, and they um, put in a lot of extra work with me and other older guys as well, um, just like T.J. Park and those younger guys. So it's definitely special to see. I guess I'm going to ask you all the one of the great things you've seen in your just leadership with those younger guys. Um, do you follow yourself after anybody who's a real for you? Um, how do you kind of learn that? That's kind of interesting. Um, really over time, but definitely um, picking up a lot of traits from those those guys that I was when I was a freshman. Um, a lot of the tactics that A B and Cleveland used with me. Um, a lot of similarities there in regards to just the way they led and things like that. Don't really try to do um, too much yelling and things like that, but sometimes you have to. But just really just lead by example and really show them the ropes and things like that and how to get the job done. Was that during spring? Yeah, for sure. And you know, over the summer. You were freshman in 2018 with that great defensive line. Do you think this, this one can be just about as good as that one was? Definitely can, as long as we keep our hair down and work. Maybe another thing that Coach Hall said was just that, not just because you're a player, but you see a player just as mm-hmm. in terms of the way you feel the presence. Why do you feel? Oh, I mean, really just, um, I would say letting the right things into your life and keeping your faith first and things like that and keeping God first, just allowing the right things into your circle and keeping the right things in the, in the head space. I would definitely say that's the main reason. I don't even like to get too far ahead. Considering the journey that you've been, the that you've been here, do you ever stop? Yeah, I mean, I definitely um, have some flashes to think about it, but I try to take it slowly day by day, of course. But um, even just um, fall camp day one last week um, in practice, it was just, I hadn't played football. And I really didn't count last year playing because I was really playing at 50%. So I really didn't count last year playing football. In my eyes, I really haven't played football in three years. Um, in regards to playing at my playing the way I can really play, um, since 2019, I was playing. I had a pretty decent year, but that's the last time I really like played football in my eyes. So in regards to um, being able to really play again and fully healthy and playing at my best self, um, it definitely was like relieving. I would say I was very happy. Um, day one practice last week. When you got here in 18, would you have ever believed you'd be here six years if somebody told you? No, I did not think that at all. Definitely wasn't in the, um, in the in my plans anyway, but God's plan is always bigger than ours, so I always keep that first. Were you thinking of three and done when you first got here? Of course, yeah, I was. That definitely was my plan. There were a lot of NFL guys in the room, in the weight room over the summer. Mm-hmm. A lot of defensive linemen were able to <coughs> pick their brain and talk to them a little bit. Did anybody, you know, help you give you any piece of advice that you're like, okay, this is what I need to know to get to that next level? Yeah, it was um. A lot of um, guys were training here, and even those guys I was at with in 2018, they all was back here. So just watching them train and um, just seeing how they work and things like that, just not really getting into their what they were doing, but just watching them and then learning from them and things like that definitely helped over the summer. With this being your last time, last season, what do you want your legacy to be? What do you want people to remember about the team and what you I really try to be an inspiration, um, just never to – Give up on yourself in regards to no matter what you go through in life. Um, that's what I try to um, – my message to the guys, even young, because you never, you never know. Um, like I said, I didn't plan on be here this long at all. But God's plan is always bigger, so you really just got to trust that. And I try to be an inspiration to those guys that don't try to rush it. Um, guys try to mess with me sometimes in regards to being here so long, but I told them it really flies by. Like it's six years seems like a long time, but it really just happens in the snap of a finger. So – you really just got to take it day by day and really just my word for the year was gratitude and just grateful to be able to play this game 
um, knowing through what I went through and being able to play it again. So really just grateful for it. When you talk about you like you haven't played football in three years, did you feel like you were knocked off from us on Friday? I mean, were there any things that felt like I had done this for a really long time? You know, it, felt, it felt pretty natural because, I mean, I've been in, like, the the mindset of being able to play in regards to over the, over the summer. I did a lot of things in regards to, like, I was preparing for camp in regards to doing a lot of practice simulations, like, by myself out there on the field in regards to putting a helmet on and going out there and play. But it's definitely um not definitely not off a little rest, I would say, the first couple of days. But now I feel um, natural again, so it's definitely fun out there. How is club different to you in your mind right now? Um, compared to last year, is that what you ask? Um, definitely, he's been he's been working his tail off, um, putting a lot of extra work, coming in here on his own, and things like that. Just coming like over the summer, just seeing him go out there, just doing a lot of the simple, smaller things in regards to details and things like that. You can tell he's way more composed in regards to practice and things like that. And he's been a very vocal leader, and he put on a lot of muscle this um, spring, uh, put a lot of muscle this off season. Um, so he's not a twig anymore. So he's been putting a lot of weight. Anyone else for Steve?